Hey everybody, it's Matt over at CDRK and I'm gonna be reacting to the new Ninja 5.0 re-release. This is a super expensive Game Boy Advance game. I didn't realize how expensive it was until I saw this trailer and saw people talking about it on Twitter. And like once again, like a lot of the games that we're seeing being remade, we're getting a lot of these cutscenes. But these cutscenes have like a feeling like they might have been on the Game Boy Advance. Like Game Boy Advance had movie capabilities. Like a lot of people forget that was that was a thing. That must be our big bad. I've never played this game, but it looks like something I totally would have. Like, like, look at this right here, right here. Like, we're saving people and everything. That's it's very, like, this guy right here is, is somebody that I guess we can save. I don't know if we get a bonus. That's very reminiscent of something like Shinobi. Let's keep going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. As a former foil fencer, uh, I appreciate the way this guy moves. Look at his feet. He's moving. He's got footwork for his sword fighting capabilities, like his style. Like, it's not just him running and doing a slash. He has got fencing footwork. Not fencing footwork, but he's got, like, it, it, it clearly is more thought out. Oh, look at that. They're at, you actually have to try to save the hostage. You have ninja magic? This really is uh, Shinobi. This really is very much like uh, the other game that we're following, Shadow of the Ninja. Here we go. It's uh, Ninja 5.0 from Konami, uh, which they were in their heyday back in the day. Uh, physical copies going through limited run. I'm not sure what Carbon Engine is. I'm guessing it's the same engine that they're using to port it over to Switch, PS5, and PS4. Notable absence is Xbox. Not here. Um, yeah, this this looks really cool. I Let me know if this is something that you're going to be picking up because it's a very uh, classic game and it's extremely expensive. So we're over on eBay. We're typing in. We're going to go over to Ninja 5 GBA. We've already been looking at this. We double checked it for our research. And now look at that first listing. $1,000 or best offer. Calgary's. <laughs> That's that's some, that's more that that could be more than somebody's rent. Ten people are actually watching this thing. The next offer, it, in some some graded thing, uh, water sealed, whatever. Um, Two thousand seven hundred fifty. That's absurd. Um, just pre-owned four hundred almost. Here we go. Case and art only fourteen thirty-eight. You don't get the game. Just keep going down. The numbers are equally ridiculous. Look at this super rare cartridge. Super rare cartridge. Up here, you were getting a box from the looks of it. Complete in box. Down here, for more, you're only getting the cart. You're only getting the piece of plastic in the board. Uh, th this is oh, here. Here's your bargain. 255. It's it's absurd. Um, now, if you want to have a physical copy of this, the limited run release makes a lot of sense if you want to go that route, but that is intense how expensive this is. This was a game that wasn't on my radar. Um, is it on your radar now? Let me know in the comments. Is this something you're going to pick up? I might pick it up on something. Uh, it, it says it's on Switch. I might pick it up on Switch. It looks like it would be fun, and I, I definitely appreciate the, the ninja magic. I appreciate the... the, the, uh, the the fencing footwork, like I mentioned, um, the ability to the, the enemies that actually take hostages that you have to then disable without hurting the hostage. There's a lot of cool stuff. Let me know in the comments what you thought was really cool. Bye, everybody.